products of 3D printing technology are all around us, and yet for many of us it's still a dark art. You might want to try it out, but you're kind of worried about things like levelling and feeding and this and that and this and that. You've heard all so much about. What you probably want is something reasonably inexpensive and really, really straightforward and that produces something useful. Well, Kokoni say they've got just the thing. I'm here to try out their starter level machine. Find out how I get on right here on Gary's Stuff. Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm looking at the EC1 printer from Kokoni, a 3D printer starter level machine designed to make your entry into 3D printing world as simple as possible. Now today I'll be having a look at taking you from what you get in the box through to making your first print. In the next video I'll have a look at all the other features that the software brings and I'll be showing you some routine maintenance like changing the filaments and things like that. If you want to know when the next video is published, best thing to do, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and you'll be notified of all my future content as it arrives. And of course, if you like anything on my channel at all, please do give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below, because every like counts. If you'd like to support the channel in a bit more concrete way, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member, or by using any of my online affiliate programs. And if you've been bitten by the 3D bug and you want a print and you think this could be the one for you, then have a look in the information box below. There's a link to the Kokoni online store. Okay, let's make a start then and see what you get inside the box of the Kokoni EC1 3D printer. <laughs> box it comes in contains really just a few things. Everything is pretty much self-contained. The printer is fully assembled and almost ready to go. All you need to do is attach the region-specific power adapter. There is a pair of tweezers for removing excess plastic from the nozzle or from the print area. There's what looks like a cleaning pad of sorts and a spare clip for the filament magazine. There's also an instruction booklet. The filament suppliers held it in this reel attached to the back. The filament is made of polylactic acid or PLA. This is derived from plant starch, so it's non-toxic. In some countries it can be recycled and it works in high temperature industrial composting. This cartridge holds a 70 meter reel of white filament, easily good for at least a dozen or more models, depending on their size of course, and there are seven other colors available. I'll cover changing the reel in the next video. Okay, so we've unpacked it, plugged it in, and we're letting it warm up. The first thing it says to do is to make sure it's on a flat and stable place, which it is. It takes about a minute to do a self, a self test procedure, and then it's ready to go. Now, the first thing I need to do is download the app. There's a QR code here because everything's run by the phone. So download the QR or download the app from the QR code. When we've downloaded everything, it only takes two or three minutes to download, depending on your network connection. Um, you create a, an account online. Again, just takes a few minutes. And then we can start to connect to the printer. Now we've got to connect the printer to domestic Wi-Fi, but it uh, uses its own local Wi-Fi first. Then you can tell it about your home Wi-Fi, and then it's installed. Right, so to print something, we've set the printer up now, it's warming up. Press create. There's always choices of the 3D avatar modeling. Uh, they have a load of recommended things you can do, previous models that you've made. You can import models, object modeling, you can do them yourself. Um, we'll have a look at all of these different things in another video. Right for the moment, we're just going to go with recommendations. 
Now I know they'd make a model of the Tiger tank, so we search for Tiger tank, and here is the one I was thinking out about, and there it is. So we say, okay, we want that. We're going to print it. Just go through a few steps. They talk you through what these various uh, controls are. We don't really need to worry about them at the moment. And next step. Okay, it's found our printer. It says we've got 84% filament left. This model uses about 7% of a filament pack. So we can then, the last thing we need, do we want supports, yes or no? I'm going to say no. And precision, medium, you can have it high, high, medium or low. I'm going to go for medium on here. I did high before and it took a very long time. And it looks at the printing cost and it tells you how much of the filament roughly, how long it will take. In this case, at medium pace, it's two and a half hours. At high resolution, it's over nine hours. So that should take about two and a half hours. Okay, so we'll save that. Save. And when we're ready, we can start printing. Start printing. Now it uploads this now from the model online into the system as you hear. It's checking the device statuses, it's checked the Wi Fi is good, it's validated the model model's okay, we've got enough filament, yes we do, and it started preheating, and then it will start printing and it says around two and a half hours. So we'll come back a bit later. <laughs> Then when the project is finished, take the magnetic plate off, like so, and then bend very gently to release the plastic. You can take it away to clean it up for our finished piece. So here's two of these uh, little tanks that I made, Tiger tanks, and they're not bad. You know, I think the barrels are obviously a bit oversized, but that's a problem with the printing, the, with the, the scale of these things. I'll show you roughly what the scale is. Um, if I put a ruler in, you can see for yourselves, if you're in centimeters, of course. So this one was printed at the fine detail setting. This one at the medium detail setting. This one took about nine hours to print altogether. This one took about two and a half hours to print. Uh, this one was printed with all of the support frames. This one I specified no support frames. The surface detail is noticeably different. If I show you, this actually looks relatively smooth. You know, you can, you can just about hear a bit of a scrape on from the um, different layers because it's printed that way. So it goes print straight up like that, as you'll see in the video. Um, and there's a bit of layering here, but you know what? That can be sanded off very, very easily. You made a nice little model. This on the medium, um, you can see, if I get the angles right, can see much much rougher lines this would take a lot more work to sand off and the detail it's the same detail because it's the same model but i don't know the detail is going to be a lot more different getting these sanded down will be quite an issue but it is a bigger model which is kind of strange in a way anyway um there we have it this one took nine hours and is actually not bad apart from the oversized barrel but that's a design thing um, probably to do with the mechanics of the plastic at this scale 
it may it may again this this was molded from here and started up with it may be that molding the barrel that finely just isn't possible at this scale with uh, filament based uh, printers so it's slightly over scale but you know what if you want to just to to use them just as uh, um, game markers you know for for playing war games where you, where you weren't a hundred percent panicky about accuracy that's going to be really quite good this is going to take a lot more effort to clean up um so you know i don't think i'm likely to do much in medium print unless i'm prototyping something if i've got an idea and i've got a print for it and i want to see what it looks like then i can print it and it will sort of but i'll do it on the fine print and get that to do the actual final size because that is definitely the way forward Yes, it took nine hours, but you know what? Set it up before you go to bed. It'll, it'll be there in the morning. There it is then. A thoroughly decent little printer, certainly for the sort of printing needs I have at the moment. Um, I'm sort of beginning to get into the whole idea of 3D printing, trying them out. And you know, for, for what I do and what I design, frankly, it's more than good. It looks really cool. Um, it's so incredibly easy to use and set up as well that... If you're thinking of making that start of 3D printing, uh, this is a great way to do it, I think. Um, costs. Well, if you use the uh, information box below there, there's a link to a company called Gearberry who are selling these. They sell them for £210 plus shipping to the UK. Shipping to the UK is about £34 or so for 10 to 14 day delivery. Um, US is two hundred and forty nine dollars. Uh, US uh, Canada is about three fifty one. Australia about four hundred two, four hundred two Australian dollars. Euros I think two thirty four. Check them out on their site for the latest prices because of course there's currency fluctuations. Likewise the shipping. However, no matter what you're buying it in, there is an extra thirty US dollar discount available. Again, discount code is in the information box below there. So. In the UK, at least, that brings the cost down to 185 plus shipping, £34 shipping. That's £220 delivered. And that includes, of course, your first reel of filament. So, yeah, I think it's not a bad price either. The filaments are about £11 for a box. As I say, 70 metres, you'll easily get a dozen or more models from a reel of filament and that will work out to less than a pound a model which is pretty good i think obviously the smaller the models you're making the more filament you'll you'll you know more bits you'll make per filament so the price comes down consequently more as usual however please please do your own research on this this video is just about my opinion and giving you the information on the pricing okay do check everything out for yourself do your own due diligence however i think it's a lovely product i've enjoyed using it i'm going to keep enjoying using it and the next video i'll show you some of the other extra features that come with the software that's included now if you've enjoyed the show please do remember give it the old imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts and if you haven't done so yet please do subscribe to that channel hit that bell and you'll be notified of all my future content as it is released including that video on all the other extras of this printer thank you so very much for watching hope to see you again very soon take good care and goodbye